Hey, welcome to the first video on my Uno card game tutorial. In this series, I'm pretty much just going to show you how to create a Uno card game in Java. I'd recommend this video for anyone who's a beginner that knows like classes and objects and methods and beyond. So anything from like beginner to intermediate. Um, but you know, you should be able to follow along. I'm going to put all the code on the screen. Um, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to create the card class but first I'm going to show you a preview of the game so if you complete the entire series this is what you should have so we're just gonna go to projects and here we go so you can play the game enter in the names of the players save them and then once you're done, you can go up to eight players, but we're just gonna do two for now. Get the screen, you can make it um, full screen, but we're just gonna keep it like this for now. So we see the current um, card is a blue eight, so I can play five, um, play a zero, because the color matches. And pretty much, in, in case you don't know in Uno, you just have to match the color or the number. So, you know, we could do a reverse. It's not like it's gonna matter because only two players, but you know, it just changed the game direction. And you just keep playing like that. That's pretty much a demo of what we're gonna be making. But for now, um, all we're gonna do in this first video is just create the card class. So I'm just gonna walk you through my process of how I did it. I know there's a lot of ways to like implement Uno. This is just the way that I did it. But feel free to leave you know, maybe a quick explanation of how you did it in the comments. So, first thing I'm gonna do is create the card class. So, we're gonna make a new class. I'm gonna call it Uno Card. And so, there's a lot of different ways you can represent an Uno Card. So, first thing we need to think is what does an Uno Card have? It has two attributes. It has a color representing the card color and a value representing the card value. So maybe you're thinking, okay, for the number, we can just do like an integer and for the color, we could use a string. Well, we could do that, but it would get a little bit complicated with the value part. So yeah, integer zero through nine could represent card number zero through nine. But what about a skip or a reverse or a draw to card? or a wild plus four card those would be a little bit harder to represent integers yeah we could do 10 11 12 and 13 but it would kind of get confusing down the line and you'd have to literally memorize oh is 11 a skip or is 12 a skip or was it 13 or reverse so how we're going to do it is something called enumeration so first thing we're going to do is create an enumeration of a color. If you don't understand it, um, I'm going to do my best to explain it, but pretty much we're just going to um, write this stuff down first. So these are all the values of our enumeration. And the next thing what I want to do is make a getter. So getters and setters are just like how you get the attributes of a class and set the attributes of a class so or of an object of a class so we're going to create a array of our enumeration of color i'm just going to set it to all the values or fill it with all the values and then we're just going to create a little method to get color And we're just gonna return the whatever you know integer that we want or whatever value that we want from the integer. So start with that. And now we're gonna do the same thing. You can just copy and paste this. We're just gonna change this to value. We're gonna and declare new values here. So our values in Uno are zero, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, draw two, skip, reverse, and a wild four. I believe that's it. And I guess a wild. Oops. All right. So next thing I want to do is change this from, or actually, let's backspace some of this. Change this to a value array. A values to value dot values. And then changes from color, returning color to returning a value. And instead of get color, I'm just gonna make this get value. Pretty much just doing what we did with our other one. Dot values. All right. So now that we have that done, I'm gonna do my best to explain it. So pretty much this enumeration is letting us create um, values so that we need for our color. So we're saying, okay, in our color enumeration, we want these values. We want a red color, a blue color, a green color, a yellow color, and a wild color. And then we're making an array of our enumeration color, calling it colors and filling this array with these values. So color.values, it's just storing all of these values into this array. And then we're just returning it. This method is just gonna return whatever value it is in our array. So if somebody, so if we passed in zero here, we'd return red. If somebody passed in a one, return blue. Two green, three yellow, four wild. Same thing with here, I'm not gonna go through all these, but it, it's the same thing. A value enumeration, calling it values, and we're just gonna be able to return it. So the next thing that we would need to do is actually create the attributes. So a card color, you're not gonna be able to change that. So you're gonna to wanna to have that called final. So you don't want this to be accessed by other classes, making it private. You don't want the card, a color of a car is never gonna change. The value of a car is never gonna change. So you just wanna declare those final. And now we're just gonna make a constructor so we can actually create our um, cards. Or in the card. So I'm just gonna pass that in. All right, so we're just creating our Uno cards. Um, um, this is a little bit unusual. I usually don't do this, but since the color and the value can't change, you can just put that in there. You don't have to have it, but it's just nice to another reminder that, you know, this attribute's final. You're not gonna be able to change it later. So now we're gonna make getters and setters for our attributes. So, we're gonna have a public, or I'm gonna skip one more line, a public color get color return first dot color public value get value and all we're gonna do is return this dot value there we go um oh so this so in case you don't know what this means this is just referring to this class so my all right let me get rid of this so this uno card class is just referring to the attribute so 
this dot color is just referring to this color variable this dot value is just referring to this value variable um, I mean I think we could do just color but yeah we could do just color but it's just being more precise so it's just letting you know it's that specific value and the last thing we're going to want to do and this is just going to be for checking purposes later create a, um, a two string method just override the two string method so you're going to want to return the color plus an underscore plus the value and then what that's going to let us do is just instead of returning like a memory address it'll just let us see the color and underscoring the value it's going to be really useful for when we try to test our stuff later so that's going to wrap up this video but if you have any comments or questions or anything like that make sure to leave them in the comments um this is probably going to be at least a six part series but i'm going to try to do one class per video um so that's just going to give you an idea of how long this is this is the first video so this might be a little bit this should be like the average length of a video so leave a like subscribe and thanks for watching